Hello friends, we are going to perform the practical study of flip flops. Aim, draw the necessary circuit diagrams for RS, clock RS and D flip flop. Connect the circuit and verify the two tables. Firstly, we see the RS flip flop. So this is the diagram for RS flip flop. It consists two NAND gates. The inputs are applied through through these two switches one is r and this is yes output is connected here to led to show the output the truth table is shown here so when r is 0 yes is 0 output becomes forbidden the action is raised if r1 s s r0 s1 the output becomes 1 the action is set R1 yes 0, the output becomes 0, the action is reset and if R1 and S is 1, the output remains as it is the last state and action is no change. We build this circuit in a protest simulation software. We pick the devices from here, we search through the keyword. 7400. The components are shown in our list. We need switch. Then register. LED. Okay. Now we will place all the components start from the gate NAND gate and we place the two switches place the register and the LED at the output we need a power supply we can pick from here plus VCC and ground now flip these two switches and change the name to R and yes we need to decrease the value of this register to 220 ohms okay now we will connect all the components start from the register uh, switch R and S connect the output to register and LED. We connect one terminal of the switch to plus VCC and other terminal to ground. Okay. Now the circuit is connected, we will run the simulation so we verify this truth table if R0 is 0 the output is forbidden that is raise the R is 0 S is 0 the output is high it is not predictable so it is called as a forbidden if r0 s1 yes, then output becomes 1 that is flip flop is set r0 s1 the output is 1 that is flip flop is set if r1 and s0 yes, output is 0 action is reset r1 s0 output becomes 0 so the flip flop is reset R1 and S1, the output is a last state that is no change. If R1 and S1, then output remains as it is, it will not going to change. So, the truth table of the RS flip flop is verified. Next, we will see the clocked RS flip flop. So, this is the diagram of a clocked RS flip flop. 
So it consists total four NAND gates and one more switch is connected that is clock. This is the truth table of clocked RS flip flop. The output changes for clock of 1, the value of 1 of the clock. So, we build this circuit in Protis. I need to delete these two wires. We keep this part as it is. We just need two more NAND gates. Okay. We need one more switch for the clock. We change the name of this switch to clock, the CLK. Okay, the circuit of clock RS flip flop is connected here. Now we will see the simulation. Now we verify the truth table. If clock 0, the irrespective of values of R and S, the output is not going to change. If clock is 1, R0, S0, then Output is a last state that is it will not going to change. We apply this condition that is clock is 1, R0 and S0. Output remains same. It will not going to change. If clock is 1, R0 and S1, the output becomes 1 that is flip flop is set. Clock 1, R0 and S1. The output changes to 0. If clock 1, R0 and S is 1, the output becomes 1, that is, flip flop is set. Clock 1, R0 and S1, output becomes 1, so flip flop is set. Clock 1, R0, R1 S0 output is 0 that is flip flop is a reset. R1 S0 the output becomes low that is flip flop is reset. If R1 and S is 1 then output is a forbidden that is it is unpredictable R1 and S1. Okay. So, the truth table of clock RS flip flop is verified. We will see the next flip flop that is D flip flop. So, it consists of IC 7474 that is IC of a D flip flop. It has two inputs one is D that is data input and other is a clock. The output is shown by this LED. The two switches are used to apply the inputs. This is the truth table of uh, the D flip flop. The clock is 0 or 1 irrespective of input, the output is remains as it is that is last state. If clock is uh, switched from 0 to 1 then the if input is 0 that is data is 0 then it output becomes 0 
if input is 1 then output becomes 1 this is a positive edge triggering to the clock so we build this circuit in rotis we need to delete these components we need ic of a deep flip flop that is 7474 we could change the name of this switch to d We will connect the IC to switches and LED. So, this is the circuit of a deep flip flop. Now, we will run the simulation. If clock is a 0 or 1, the output remains at is it. The clock is 0 or 1, the output remains as it is. If input is 0 and the clock is positive edge triggered, input D is 0 and it is positive edge triggered, then output becomes low. If input is 1 and the clock becomes high to low, then output becomes low. So, the input is shifted to output when the clock is changes its state from high to low. The input is low, then output becomes low. If input is high, output becomes high. So, the input shifted or stored at the output if and only if the clock is a given. So, this truth table is verified. So, the conclusion is IC7400 can be used as RS flip flop, clocked RS flip flop, and IC7474 can be used as a D flip flop. Thank you.